is there a sense of an influence going from self-directed learner centered into the system in a larger sense? Like, do, do you see any uh, signs of hope for the system in, in terms of kind of government funded and, and private bigger schools? Do you see influence there? Well, yeah, as, I, as we've been saying, yes, we do see these changes taking place, not as fast as we would like, Yeah, yeah. Uh, but they, they are taking place. People are observing them. And uh, it, uh, you'll see, I think, over a period of time, some really big changes to, uh, happening. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and anything you can see, like the individual states, you know, here in the United States are adopting certain policies. Now, right. they vary, um, you know, everything from universal school choice. But even with that, there's certain things you have to do in order to even plug into that. Right. So right. so I think there's there's movement. You know, we've all been saying it's going to happen maybe slower than we want it to. There's good movement, but also for me, I just feel like there's still that kind of idea of we have to regulate the right. And right, it's like, right. and, and so it's, I, I don't know, maybe that's going to all, all of a sudden change really quickly and it's going to be less regulated. But I think there's, you know, there's states like where I live now, New Hampshire, you know, very mm. friendly to, you know, educational alternatives and has you know, ESAs and things that students can plug into, but you have to qualify for it, right? You don't right. just get it. So, so there's things like that. And I think other states have similar kinds of things, you know, Florida, again, universal ch school choice, but there are certain things that you have to do in order to, to be able to utilize that. Right. right so, right. so it's not just the money follows the kid. Hey, go do what you want. Yeah, yeah. Um, kind of idea that that isn't there yet. Um, it, uh, it's involved with alternatives that were a part of our system. I've always been skeptical when there was state or federal or even foundation money available that they would want to dictate that you do it in a certain way. Right. This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Burr.